Hello and welcome back to City Skylines in Atlantic City. And today we are looking into some post offices. Yeah, I think with Christmas coming around in just over a week, we can spend some time and look at post office because you're probably waiting for some things to arrive on mail and, well, they deserve some attention. And at the moment, we don't have anything to deliver postal service in the city. So I guess that'll be a good start for us and we will look into that. The first thing I want to do is start working on the, um, what's it called? The post sorting facility. So these are the main facilities which bring like a lot of, a lot of traffic from the outside into the city and from these facilities to the post office in like in the uh, internal areas of your city. So I'll post some of them close to highways, cargo airports and train stations, things like that. And then we will pop some post offices around. So before I also do this, you can see that this road looks slightly different, especially if you look from this distance, like the color is a bit different there. If you go even closer, you notice that you have like a double line in the middle and it's still, if you still doubt on what that means is that this is like a two-way <laughs> road i put the wrong road in there for some reason and i never noticed it so we can and we will change that now what we need is a four-way yeah four-lane highway this one and then we can upgrade this and everything will look the same and will look much better as well. Now, another thing uh, that I would like to quickly show you just before I jump into all the beauty is that based on some feedback during the live stream, and by the way, I have a little bit of a kind of surprise by the end of the episode, just stick around so you can see what it is. Um, Someone mentioned during the live stream for me to use the new node controller. I've updated that and I don't know why I haven't done that before. Because this is just a lot easier to, <laughs> to change things around. Like it's just a couple of clicks or, or maybe just one click if I don't need anything else. And this looks much better. So yeah, completely worth it. And I think you, you should do it. If you haven't already, then this area will give us some options to also detail as there are some areas in here that we are still missing detailing. So that we will be good. Now let's uh, go back to the build and I'll start with some post sorting facilities, then the post offices inside the city, and then we'll come back and I'll show everything for you. So enjoy the music while I do that and I'll see you in a second.
All right, here we go. And well, we are looking at our central station, although it's not, it has nothing yet, but it's coming. We'll get there. We'll build around this area and make this, especially the connection to the highway there, a lot better. Uh, at the moment, we just have connection on one side. And well, this will make things difficult if we have to go all around the station before getting into the sorting facility. But I'm planning another or another connection or another road that will connect underneath here somehow. But this will be done when we actually look into this area. The point is, we do have this one here. So we are getting a lot of mail in there. We have... Where is that? Now, we just need to find. We have this one in here, getting some mail there as well. That is really good. And then we have a third one, which is near the car cargo airport, which is just here. And yeah, we're not getting any mail yet in here, but I think this will, this will happen eventually. If we need, they, they'll deliver in here. So with that in mind, we then went ahead and put a bunch of uh, farm, a farm, not farm, <laughs> post offices all around. So places like this, like near the farm, these will hopefully cater for all this area. And if you look at this, we have a lot of mail to be delivered. Um, post vans, we have 10 out of 10 and post trucks, zero out of two, which is fine. I think we just need to first wait and see how this is all get balanced and then if this just goes up and we're still using like all the 10 vans all the time then that means that we might need more post offices like this is going up and up so maybe this is a sign but let's see how this goes and then we uh, we can make that decision we, we need to leave it to get a little bit balanced as you can see right now None of the buildings have any uh, posts, so we need to start delivering and then everyone will be happy. Now, areas like this are already being taken care of, but still have some areas in here that we need to get some uh, mail to them. Maybe we do need more, like we just have one there. Well, we do have one here. That's pretty close. And see how that goes. And I can need to give it some time before we actually make any uh, change. So another one in here that is like all dotted around one near the university, another one near this area, one uh, next to the old farms here. And oh, we need water for that one. I think that that might help if we get then water. I might just get water from here and go straight there. There we go. Should be enough for water and sewage. And then that building can work properly. So yeah, like a lot of buildings around. And we have another one here, another one there, another one here, and another one over there. So should gather for all this area. If it's not enough, again, I'll come back to it and do some rebalancing and do we have any statistics for that? It's just like really the only thing that they show is efficiency and active versus inactive. Because what these buildings will do for a city, they will actually give you just some happiness around the buildings. Nothing else. Like it is not necessary for your city to, to work. And they'll give you a small boost for leveling up as well. But yeah, I think that's you don't need to add them. That's why I usually don't add them at the beginning, or just at the end. So you can just like make things look a little bit better in the way you want it. So yeah, that is that. So I mentioned that I wanted to show you something at the end. And we are basically, if you look at this, during live stream, we are building a new city. And we've built this junction in here and we've built a new junction in here as well, right? So this was built just yesterday, uh, 
or like I'm recording this on a Saturday, on Sunday. So the live stream is on Saturday. And we've recorded building this new junction over here, which looks quite good. I really like it. So then this goes into here. We have this T interchange alongside with this, um, this actually is trumpet interchange. And then we have a T interchange for train line here. And then we, it's not connecting to anything yet. You see that there is a train station waiting over there for us. And we have this new area that we are building. So this area or rather this city, we are actually keeping that a little bit separate so we can have some fun during the live stream as well. We've named it uh, yesterday and that's called Tempera City. If you want to know, you have to watch the live stream or maybe I'll tell you in some other episode. Just ask me in the comments so I can take that into consideration. So we are making this very uh, natural and organic. There are no real uh, challenges in the terrain. Here, this area was flat before. Then this starts slipping down. That's why we were able to do this nice uh, trumpet interchange here, which looks quite good. We have a key around there, which looks pretty good as well. And then this train, this train line will go through here. You get this one. You can go back all the way into the uh, industry over there if you want to, or you can go all that way to the outside or even like just connect into the rest of the city over here as well. So I have a few options for this train line, which is quite nice. And yeah, I quite like this area and I think this is a pretty good start for this new city. And I'm just looking forward to see what happens in here. So yeah, I love that as well. And this is one of the um, the news that we have. Now, we do have a new type of train as well that I don't think we're currently using anywhere. So I would just take a quick look and see if we can see the details for that train and if it's worth changing that or not. Let's see this line here, which is pretty busy, right? And yeah, we have like a few trains that are full. And if we look at the uh, select types. We have this train Zug Flirt and it's a pretty nice train and I'll add that to the line. I'll wait this to get into here so we can see that train and what is that? What is that train? It should be visible. Um, or am I blind? I might am I be blind. What is that? Can I select the train over here? This is the underground. Oh, I don't want to replace all trains before we actually see what's happening. That's one of the things that I want to do. If uh, for any reason they... Oh, there we go. It's here, right? So this is a urban train and this is quite a nice one actually let me try to fold this just so we can look around so passenger capacity is exactly the same i think that's exactly same size as well as the other ones and well we can see it going through here and it looks pretty cool going through there oh, i just love that and then all right, let's speed things up a little bit so I can see then above ground because, well, there is no point in looking at that underground. I just want to make sure that they are this, the correct height as well because I quite like these things. I think they are a little bit smaller. Hold on, maybe if we go like that, we can see... Ooh. I wish I could control this a little bit better. I want to see it. Yeah, this is a little bit smaller. I can get a version that has the same amount of cars and uh, larger capacity. So that's pretty cool, actually. What I want to do 
well, for now, I'll just keep that train in there. But I definitely want to replace all the trains with this one. So thank you for Dimitri um, that gave me this train asset or rather uh, mentioned about that train asset. I really, really like it. So it looks pretty cool. And I think that is just one more thing that I need to do. And I just need a minute because I need to take a look at something before I do that. Okay, so the thing is, we have a new Patreon and uh, as I mentioned before, or at least I mentioned in my Patreon page, and I can name a few things based on our Patreons. And what I want you to do, I want you to name the street of this park here, his name. So, Tej Broad, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Thanks a lot for being a supporter in the Patreon page and I appreciate your help and your, well, your participation in our build. So thanks again. You are now a name of our Little Bay Commercial District, one of our main parks here. So thanks again for participating and I really, really hope you uh, are enjoying. So just before we go, let's take another quick look at our post office and see how is coverage for our city. Yeah, it's much better. Um, we might need something at university there, although we don't have cars driving in the university, so I don't know how that exactly works. But yeah, and maybe I'll, I'll just keep that going a little bit more and then we will come back to it uh, at another time to make sure that everything is as it should. But yeah, let me finish here in a little bit and looking at our new Patreon road here because this is a pretty popular road and we have uh, trams coming through here. We have this park that's pretty busy and it's a pretty nice area. So. Before I go, uh, this will be the last City Skylines video of the year. So thanks a lot for an awesome year and thanks a lot for all your support. I do hope you have a Merry Christmas and an awesome uh, new year. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>